Spike fans over here with Teofimo Lopez Sr. How you feeling? Welcome back to New York. Man, I'm over here in New York, man. My hometown, Brooklyn, New York. Um, the little chap was born. And, you know, come Saturday night, man, everybody's going to see a show. Definitely, you know, ready to put fireworks. I mean, your son is going to put fireworks again in, in his fight. How do you guys feel that you guys now have an intercontinental um, WBC champion belt? Uh, well, we're fighting for three belts this one, this time. Um, I think it's the NABF, the NABA, and I forgot what's the other one. The U.S. What was the other belt? I think. Well, we're fighting for three belts. I think with these, we're gonna unify all the continental belts. Um, but yeah, man, I'm just so happy, and um, you know, it's right after the Heisman Award, so I mean, they can't get better than that on live TV, ESPN. Um, we bring it up. You know, on the Lomacheco card, which is uh, it's just you know, it's just like a dream come true, man. Dream come true. Tell us, uh, what was it for you? Like, I mean, how did it take? How long did it take the recovery from? I think Teofimo got well, injured was, in his in, in his last months. fight. It was like less than two months. I mean, he was already working and hitting the bag in September. Uh, they told him that he needed to uh, rest to like the end of October, but um, he healed really fast. Um, he, I mean, I think he's hitting way harder than last fight. Um, I had obviously this fight, this fight going any, you know, not past no four or five rounds. Um, you know, um, it's going to be a very, very, very uh, spectacular fight. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, like you said, fireworks. Um, that's, you know, that not, it, it's just the way that he fights. It just makes the crowd go crazy. You know what I'm saying? We have right here, right here, we have a superstar, but not. It's just the way he fights. He is, he's an entertainer, and that's what boxing's been missing. That's what what we bring to the table. Yeah, eventually, you know, your son always, you know, comes with a straight strategy. Um, for this fight, you know, I mean, every fight that he, you know, your son has in his career. What's the difference from this fight in order to face, uh, you know? Well, I told this my son, uh, like he, you know, he's a he's a hungry lion in there, you know. It's a takeover, like he says it, you know. So, for 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 those words to mean anything in boxing, you have to take over. And taking over means as soon as that bell rings, we on top of your your head, you know. We're trying to come in and try to take your head off. So, you know, come Saturday night after the Heisman Awards, you guys are gonna see fireworks. Definitely, you know, the fight fans expecting, you know, your son come out and do, you know, a great, great performance, you know, and the night. But also, we have been in the same card, Lomachenko versus Pedraza. What can you tell for the, that fight? I think that's a great, that, that's a great fight. Um, I, I give the advantage to Lomachenko because he's more experienced. Uh, but I think Pedraza has a chance. You know, we don't know. What, you know, it's a, this is a very strong fight for Lomachenko coming out of an injury. So you don't know uh, what to expect, you know. Got to see how he healed, if that's going to bother him in the fight. You know, uh, Pedrosa just beat a very talented, um, uh, which Ray Beltran was, you know, a world champion. So that's how he got this shot. Um, it, it's going to be a very, very, uh, to me, it's not going to be easy for Lomachenko. I think it's gonna, he might take it in decision, but let's see how he does. You never know, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I give the edge to Lomachenko. You give you know? the edge for the, let's say, the experience and also, experience, you know. The speed, you know. Um, I think that if Pedraza keeps him away from him and, try, you know, keeps him out there with the jab and, and, and doesn't let him come in and doesn't let him do, his, uh, do what he does, I think Pedraza has a chance. You know? Definitely, you know, it's... It's a fight that I think, uh, I would say maybe 15-50. Who knows what strategy, you know, yeah. both fighters are going to bring it that night exactly. at the table. Is in your guys, I mean, is in your plan, guys, to face maybe one day Lomachenko, if the fight happens yeah, or if they bring fight. it I want that on fight the table? Tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want that fight tomorrow. It could be, it could be Teofimo Lopez versus Lomachenko on Saturday. You know, we're ready for that fight. You know, um, are we going to get it? We don't know. You know, but uh, we definitely want to get a title at one with the 135 weight division. And um, come come next year, I'm not going to wait for Lomachenko. If we, we grab one of those titles, if he's willing to fight us, we'll fight him. If not, I'm not going to wait. You know, uh, my son is definitely going to go up to the 140 weight division by 2020. 2020. Yeah.
for you guys, I mean, eventually you are in the corner, you, you know, you supervise every move, everything that your son does. And for you guys, what's the most prestigious belt that you guys can get in order that, you know, a lot of people, that you guys call the attention for all the fighters? I think the WBC. I think that's the one that Mikey Garcia just uh, vacated. Vacated, right? Yeah, right? I think it was that one, right? I'm not too sure. But um, whatever, you know, whatever belt is out there that's vacant, we're going for it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, once we have that belt, you know, they, then the Lomachenko is going to have to fight us or Pedraza, whoever wins, you know. So uh, we're just waiting for that chance. And I think it's going to be really quick. Really it's quick. Be next, next, next year, mid July, I don't know. Let's see what happens. You know, hopefully that fight happens because uh, this, this should be, I, I think it should be interesting to see Lomachenko versus against your son because two different styles and I think your son, you know, like you mentioned, he's a lion, he's hungry, you know, he wants the bells and hey, why not? Listen, um, I think I think that um, no matter who he fights, he's always going to be a pay-per-view star, you know, just because of the way he fights. You know, um, I think top rank right now needs a pay-per-view star. You know, and and we we're gonna take we're gonna take that position. Um, anybody that we fight, my son is gonna look spectacular. So it doesn't really matter who we fight. Um, we we ready for the big names and um, come come next year. You know, uh, he already was nominated again, Yahoo Sport of, uh, of the Year and uh, Prospect of the Year, and um, hopefully maybe even ESPN. We're gonna find out that real soon. But uh, the more the more awards we get, the more closer we are for a world title. You know, you know. I think he's already a contender. But I, I tell my son, listen, any award is good because it just puts your name out there. You know, and uh, it makes people want to see you. You know, even the people that want to see us lose, they're gonna watch. People want to see us. <laughs> they still gotta win, watch. Gonna watch. You know. So come Saturday night, you're gonna see something that nobody's seen in a very long time. We're Some, bringing boxing back. We're something back. Like the, the arrows of the Sugar Ray Leonard's, the Muhammad Ali's, we're bringing that era back, you know. People need to see a lion, somebody hungry, somebody going in there trying to get it right away, not trying to figure out people. You know, my son adapts to any style of boxing, and he adapts within 20, 30 seconds of the first round. Wow, so, that's... You know, and, and, and if you notice, you know, after the first, second round, he doesn't get touched, you know. And, um, and I taught him... In the game of boxing, you gotta entertain. And, and what's, what was most important about me teaching him how to box was not to get hit. There's no father wants to see his hit, uh, his son get hit or get hurt. You know, so that was one one of the most motivating parts of me. And Floyd Mayweather really helped me with that. You know, mm. I took a lot of his uh, style and converted it into uh, into my son. But a lot of other fighters, I needed I needed to implement more things into him. With the aggressiveness, you know. Yeah. So I'm building. I'm, I'm building a style where nobody's ever seen. You know. I even have some some Bruce Lee in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like some Bruce Lee moves that he makes, and um, and I just put all these things together, and God, God gave me that gift to be able to teach my son to protect him and to bring a style that nobody's ever seen in boxing. You know. That's why everybody. You know. If you notice, every time my son fights, you don't see nobody on the phones. You don't see nobody texting nobody. Everybody just. 100% looking at his Keeping fight. an eye on that fight, yeah. The eye on the fight. And that's why he always, he's always the best fighter at the end of the night, you know, because he brings that excitement. Definitely, you know, he's, your son, you know, steals the show and, you know, that's what I think people love that when it comes, like, in boxing and everything. Um, could you guys talk about, like, when, let's say, an injury happens... You know, whether it's the, in the sparring or just the injury that happened in, in his hand recently. What, what was going on in your yeah, mind? Well, one you thing know? about my son that even if he gets, he does get injured, mm -hmm. he would not let nobody know. Mm. All right. Um, I was the only one that knew that he did something to his hand because he wasn't throwing it. He wasn't throwing the right hand a lot. And I asked him in the second round, I said, what, what's going on? What's going on? Well, you're not throwing the right hand. There's something wrong with your hand. What happened? He, he told me, your dad, I think I broke my hand. And, oh. and then I told him, I don't care. I said, listen, we're already into the fight. You're going to have to push through it. You know, that means we're going to have to take this guy out faster. So he went in there, he did his job. And then after the fight, that's when we realized that it was a really bad injury. You know? yeah. And I don't know how he did it, but I mean, he, 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 one thing about my son, even when he got cut the first time, he doesn't like to show people anything. Even though the, he couldn't he couldn't see mm. through that eye, he wouldn't let the fighter know or anybody know that it was bothering him. He like didn't a, even touch it. 
like a true you know warrior. But I remember when he got that back cut, um, and he put, he didn't even touch it, and, and 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 that's how he is. He will not show you any weakness. You know, he doesn't want the fighter to know he's, he's there's something wrong with him, and he doesn't want the crowd to know that he's he's hurt. You know, we're not gonna give nobody the satisfaction. Of, 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 of the doubt of thinking that he's not a good fighter. We always got to show everybody the best of Teofimo Lopez. I mean, this fight is going to show that, it's going to prove that, that we're, we're on a roll, you know, and uh, we're on the express, the express lane, you know, with just 10 fights, he's been nominated all over the place, you know. Yeah, I've seen that. nominations everywhere. And um, I can't wait, man. ES, ESPN loves him. The world loves him. You know, he's, he's, he, he's got some haters, you know, but 80%, of the people that watch boxing, you know, hardly know anything about boxing. So I already know what I got, you know, and uh, we're just going to bring something that nobody's ever seen. Nobody, you know. Definitely, you know, all the fight fans, they're going to keep an eye on you. We like to bring a message for all the fight fans and everybody that is going to keep an eye on your son because, hey, you just you mentioned it. Yeah. You're making the lane and going straight. No, to I want everybody to stay tuned. Uh, just watch right after the Heisman Awards. My son is going to bring a show, man, and, and and we're just gonna get closer to a world title after this fight. You know, keep an eye for the takeover, it's coming. Thank you, Teofimo Senior, wishing you the best, and you know, I wish for both fighters come out, you know, safety, that's yeah, one thing. Exactly. Because it's an entertaining sport, but also, let's not forget that, you know, it's life inside the ring, so. Everything's about entertainment, you know, we never wanna, it's, it's, it's a fight game, you know what I'm saying? Right after the fight, we, we, we could be friends and everything, you know, we show respect to the fighters. Even though my, my son does his thing because he has to celebrate his win, you know. We don't do Definitely. it out of, out of laughing at the, at the fighter. We yeah. do it out of celebrating, celebrating our win. Celebrating, yeah. Because it makes us one, one step closer to a world title. Um, and we bring that entertainment because you gotta entertain, you got to entertain the crowd, you know. And we do give our respects to the fighters every time we fight. You know, you see my son going to the corner, kissing the fighter, hugging him, you know. So we show respect. Uh, Come Saturday night, man, it's gonna be explosive. Thank you, Teofimo Senior, wishing everybody the best. Guys, stay tuned. Teofimo Lopez in New York City. The takeover, baby.